Good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good morning. Uh, it is 7.03 a.m. and my voice is suddenly scratchy. Uh, uh, 7.03 a.m. on Monday, February 7th, 2022. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I technically didn't just get up because what I did just do is write an Oompa Loompa song for James Bond. Uh, on a Discord that I follow, there was a discussion uh, from last night about uh, James Bond versus Willy Wonka, and I was inspired. Uh, and so now, <clears throat> Oompa Loompa Doompa Dee Doo, Double O Seven's life will be through. Oompa Loompa Doompa Dee Dee, he will not have our best recipe. What do you get when you shake martinis? Lovers with odd names like Octopussy. What are you get at sending us British spies? We will catch them and tell no lies. I do like his tuxedo. Oompa Loompa Doompa Dee Dot. Sometimes he's cheesy, sometimes he's not. He will die here and very soon at the hands of Wonka Dee Doo. Uh, yes, so that's what I spent some time doing uh, before I started the video. Time well spent, I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, I'm going into the office today and I guess that's not directly related to what I was just going to say, but uh, I have a, uh, a writing retreat trip coming up. And this is a trip, this is a, uh, a thing that I, I, I went to several times, but I haven't in a little while for a combination of reasons. It's like one, last year didn't happen for obvious reasons. The year before that, it did happen because it was in February before everything really started to lock down. But I had just brought Rocket home and he was just a tiny, tiny little puppy and I didn't feel like I could be away from him uh, at that time. And so that means that uh, it's it's now going to be have been three years since I went uh, to to this place. And and honestly, in that time, my my writing has uh, like I still do, you know, creative stuff, but my prose writing has has slacked uh, dramatically since then. It's possible that there's some relation there, but uh, uh, so I have that trip coming up. But I've also just got, you know, work stuff that I'm doing, and and I don't want to make it seem like I'm over busy with work. That's not what I'm trying to say. But I'm, I guess, I'm just finding myself a little bit anxious about the trip and yet it's that type of anxiety where if I sit and I think about it it's like well okay what am I worried is going to happen and there's not really anything that's that likely and so it's I'm I'm realizing that that anxiety is not it's one thing if what you're saying is I'm worried that x is going to happen and if that's the case then you can start thinking well, okay, um, how can I make that less likely? And uh, what would I do if it did happen? And you can start kind of, you know, working on that, that issue, right? You can make it less likely to happen. You can have a plan for if it does, and then, and then it's under control. It's not a problem, right? But when you interrogate those anxious feelings, and they're not really coming from any actual real concern, like like anything like any actual problem that is a likely to happen or b actually a problem. And sometimes that's you know I've talked about this before, where sometimes with social things, I will feel this sense of anxiety ahead of it, and it's gotten to the point where I have to just often recognize. Yeah, that's just something my brain does. Uh, it doesn't, it's not based on anything useful. It's, it may just be a chemical thing, who knows? Um, but sometimes you have to, because it's absolutely possible 
to feel anxious about something because it's actually not a good idea, right? And if that's the case, maybe you need to reconsider, or maybe you should, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, take more steps to be more careful or something like that. But if you get in a practice of checking those feelings instead of just assuming, well, if I feel nervous, there must be a problem, instead of just saying feeling nervous is the problem. But if, you, if you're able to look through it and say, wait a minute, this is not a real problem. This is something you've, you've done a bunch of times before. It's going to be totally okay. And just kind of remind yourself, like, well, if there was an actual problem, you could do something about it. And the fact that there's not an actual problem doesn't mean there's nothing you can do. It means there's not an actual problem. So I'll leave it there for today, and I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.